Hey Gemini, welcome to your general love read. This is for November 23rd through the 29th. However, time is fluid, so whenever it comes to you, if this resonates for you, that is when it was meant for you, okay? If it does resonate, please like, share, comment, and or subscribe. <laughs> I don't know what cup cried but would be, <laughs> but you know what that is, please do that as well. <laughs> Oh, it's been a long day. <laughs> All right. So if you are new to the channel, welcome. Um, I am an intuitive. So some of what you may hear may not be what you would traditionally get out of tarot. And if that's not for you, you know what? I am totally cool with that. All right. Because sometimes I hear the wacky things that I come up with in sessions with clients and I'm like, where did that come from? And then they come back to me later and they're like, you know, I just don't even <laughs> like second guess you at all anymore because it always ends up coming out somehow true. So... But this is a general read, okay? So what that means is that none of this may resonate with you, okay? All right, so the way I always start out my reads, okay, is that for the general, I pull a card for the collective from my personally channeled Mindset Unicorn deck. That way, if the rest of the reading is not for you, you're getting something out of coming and listening to my spiel, okay? So you get morning and summer, okay? Beautiful energy. It's about sun and happiness and joy. Morning. Greet this day with joy and gratitude. The world is still and quiet and your mind is at rest. Start this day with a clean slate and leap forward without hesitation, without once looking back. Summer. Summer symbolizes energy, space, and opportunity. It is time to surrender to the joy of standing in the warm rays. The summer solstice is, a very, is very powerful for manifesting desires. So I do feel like, okay, as the collective here, you're moving on to something with a very clean slate, with happiness, with joy, um, whatever it is you've left past, okay? You, whatever was blocking you, you are done with that, okay? The intention is the lovers, okay? Always a very beautiful card to be the first card of the reading, especially when we have a clean slate. So if you have been having some sort of a separation or triggering or mirroring, okay, with a divine connection and wondering if this is your twin, okay, or divine soulmate, whatever it means to you, okay, mirror soul, I don't care what the term is. Um, yeah, that is your person. And really, I mean, they're really drawing me to the fact that these two share one heart. Okay, so when you are feeling them, they are feeling you. Overall energy here is all about communication. Okay, sometimes this card in the Crow Tarot deck to me can signify blocked communication. And so as an overall, this could be about finally breaking through and starting to communicate with this person again. Okay, I feel like in the past, you had options, okay? And you had an option that had your heart, but you also had an option that was this friendship, okay, that you were looking at, considering. Okay, current energy is that clean slate moving forward. Okay, and this is going to be whatever action you're taking is a very beautiful, abundant energy because this is, there's a lot of, I've got a lot of decks, obviously, if you watch me. But um, I always use the Crow Tarot as my foundation for the general read. This is my card where 
<clears throat> you are going down this abundant, golden, beautiful path. It could also signify moving forward. Because I'm struggling to speak, it could also be about what you want to say to this person. Okay, future energy. Eight of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> it could be that you are no longer feeling tied and bound to something. Okay. It could just be if you are actually physically moving, that you are breaking free of things that were kind of holding you in place in the past. But let's go ahead and get a little more clarification here. You may have been feeling out of balance, okay? I've got the justice in reverse with the king of pentacles, okay? You could have been feeling alone, not being able to communicate with this person, okay? And then especially, okay, being out of balance. What is it all about? Again, it's about this lover's connection. It's about this divine connection, trying to bring it back into some sort of synergy. Okay, in the past here, this person opened up a shitstorm of passion for you. Okay, and just as equally pulled up all the shadows, okay? And I feel like rather than deal with it head on, okay, you just over did what you do. You overthink, okay? You started overthinking it and you stopped contributing to this connection, okay? You pulled away from it. Bottom of the deck. There's the five of pentacles, okay? Okay, current energy is that you're trying to make a decision, okay? You're thinking about who you are, um, what paths you have. Um, up in your head, a lot about this. But I do feel like, okay, this is different than it was in the past. Okay, the energy is no longer codependent. The energy is pure, okay, because it's a brand new start here. Ace of Wands and the Fool. So what are you breaking free from, okay? It could possibly be that you're breaking free from all the old paradigms that kept this person, okay, entangled with you, but at a distance, all right? With the Nine of Wands, guarded energy with the Queen of Swords in the reverse, It could be about healing your heart, okay, in regards to the Divine Feminine or Mother Wounds. Um, this is the Empress. This is nurturing. This is, you know, love. So, a little uncertainty there. I'll swing back around and we will clarify that, all right? Okay. Tell me about the imbalance here.
Okay, the imbalance was the fact that there was a lot of overthinking. And the overthinking created a blockage in the communication. And the, you know, no movement forward. We've got the Knight of Wands in reverse and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Okay. And there's the Nine of Swords. So somebody in this connection, and I'm thinking that it is, all right, this King of Swords, or I mean King of Pentacles, because this King of Pentacles is sitting alone in this cave. Okay. What do we do when we pull back and then there? You are a hermit, okay? We pull back, five of pentacles. We close off, all right, page of wands. Watch from afar, don't take any action, okay? And I feel like that is a lot of what happened here. Tell me about the shadow work here. Yeah, the shadows were about the movement forward, okay? Someone didn't want to move forward and shed their past, okay? And it was you because it comes out with the magician, which is you, in reverse. Judgment in reverse. Three of wands in reverse, okay? You know that there was this spark there, okay, that you created, it was calling for you, okay, to allow yourself to shed the old, okay, and to move forward. And that's a beautiful energy, you know, it's nice and light and fluffy, okay? And whatever popped up in your shadow self from all of this passion, you just couldn't, okay? Okay, so all the overthinking, Nine of Swords, was that you aren't good enough for this, okay? Six of Wands in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, these are old wounds that you've been carrying for a long time. King of Swords in reverse. Um, you felt the sting, okay? of this and felt this huge pain and when it got to the point where you couldn't hide it you just hid from it okay okay current energy yeah this new energy is all about the movement forward, you are changed, okay? Hugely changed. All right, two of swords here, two of pentacles. Okay, coming into alignment, um, allowing, you know, the emotions to be equal give and take, okay? Starting anew, ace of pentacles, there's more of that abundance. Okay, we've got the abundance on the Ace of Wands and the abundance here on the Ace of Pentacles. So whatever this new start is for you, the choice that you're making, it is paved with beautiful energy in Nine of Cups. Okay, it's exactly what you want out of this. Okay, so new beginning here. Two of Wands. Making a choice for what? Okay, there's that Empress. Choosing this Empress, this lover, this deeply divine connection. I feel like you've been waiting and watching for the transformation. And now you're ready to just take it. 
And with this, this lovers, okay, there's still some hard shells here, okay? There's still some, I feel like, emotions that need to be spoken, all right? But you're moving forward here with this. Bottom of the deck, all right? There's the Six of Cups, and there's the Knight of Cups, okay? So I do feel like this is about movement forward. Okay, so Queen of Swords in reverse, okay? High Priestess. This is about releasing that cold entanglement, all right? Because you're releasing the old ways, all right? Again, Eight of Swords twice here in reverse. Why? Okay, there's that Six of Cups, and there's the Justice, okay? So this is about coming back into balance, I feel like, with this person. All right, let's see what the universe says. Right. Yeah, this is your person, okay? Four of Wands. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Okay, this person, there could be something about them that just makes you feel abundant, okay? There's something about them that like, it's like they're your good luck charm, okay? And there is this huge transformation that takes place within this. Now, for some of you, okay, it could be, okay, there's Ace of Cups, that you're, because the way that the cards appear here, we do have the Queen of Pentacles looking back at the actions of the Four of Wands, okay? It could be that there is a third party in this that someone is leaving behind, okay? But this new beginning is with this emperor who is taking off their mask, okay, to stand up for the truth of what they want. All right. So let's pull out an oracle here for you. Okay, financial and material changes. And, you know, we do have, all right, the rings on the emotional finger and the logic finger, okay? But this is going to be a big change, and we already see abundance and abundance, okay? And then there we go. There's more abundance. Material harvest. Okay. So I feel like, yeah, everything is coming in and you're like, I'm going for what I want. Okay. So I hope that this helps you. I'm going to pull into the extended and see what other information spirit wants to throw out here at this. But beautiful energy, beautiful reading for Scorpio season. Okay. All right. Much love, Gemini. See you next time. Bye.